On the bus, a beautiful woman was asked to give up her seat to the elderly. She refused to let. If you want to sit, sit here. People on the bus have accused her behavior. Shameless. The conductor is to throw her off the bus. But the beauty but no response. Anna, a beautiful woman, arrived at the station. She strutted off the bus. At that moment, a girl caught up with her, holding a cell phone in her hand, questioning why she did not give up her seat to the elderly. It turned out that the girl was a journalist in turn, and what she had just done was filmed by the girl. This was the first time Anna was late for work. She turned on her computer as soon as she arrived at her desk. It turns out she has cancer, lymphoma, terminal, and because of this, she acted irrationally on the bus. On the reporter's side, she handed the video to her supervisor, who immediately decided to make this video as today's news headline, because this kind of event will definitely cause a social sensation. As soon as the news aired, the ratings went up and Anna became the target of the netizens anger and everyone was talking about it the director was very pleased that she was impressed by the incident and asked her to continue covering the story on the other hand Anna who was gradually falling apart approached her boss and said she wanted to borrow 100W and take seven days off the boss agrees but asks her to accompany her on a business trip at the end of her vacation Anna handed over her work to her assistant who was polite on the surface, but who knew that behind the scenes she had wanted to seek power to get to the top. After Anna left, she secretly exposed her personal information to the internet, and even released a video of Anna on the bus when she was facing an important client. And just after Anna left the company, she found a trainee reporter and asked her to record an apology video, and the boss had to change the content of the contract because of this incident. The incident became more and more serious, and the supervisor sighed. Still not too big, she even approached Anna's high school class teacher for their coverage of the incident. Anna saw the news and became more and more devastated. She approached Bob, the main character, and asked him to stay with her for seven days on the condition that she would help him pay off his debts, and Bob agreed. But the incident became more and more serious, and the supervisor intended to let things fester further, so he turned to Anna's company and started fanning the flames, keeping the news alive. But no one cares about Anna's plight. People on the internet just want to do their own justice and the supervisor is even more reckless, deliberately not releasing an apology video, thinking that it will reduce the heat of the topic, and also find Anna's boss, but the boss directly let the security guards kick her out. The supervisor, this time angry, wrote a press release, taking the opportunity to smear the boss. This behavior even affect the boss's work. More and more negative news, pressure Anna cannot breathe, she dare not go home, can only go to stay in a hotel every day, because her home address was also exposed, but this is not the way because her condition has been deteriorating. So she and Bob went out with the intention to find a nanny, who knew that the boss's wife recognized her. The door was full of people. Anna wanted to find a quiet place to talk to the owner, but the other party did not pay attention to her and the people outside, but they were surrounded by a lot of people. After this experience, Anna is also completely broken. She finally knows the horror of public opinion, but in the last life, she wants to live in the sunlight. So Anna gave Bob a large sum of money and asked him to accompany her to a place, to the suburbs, where she intended to go for a walk, away from the city, very quiet, without the noise of the city. But Bob received a phone call and immediately planned to leave because he had been following Anna for the past few days and was mistaken for Anna's boyfriend. And this news was also learned by Bob's girlfriend. And they had a fight. But on the other hand, the boss, who had suffered a loss, decided to kick the supervisor out of the media industry. So the boss got the supervisor's bank card and put a sum of money into it and deliberately let her leader know that the leader thought she had taken such a big kickback and fired her. She was fired after Bob learns that Anna's days are numbered. He decides to stay with her until the last day. But after watching the sunrise, she has to go to the hospital. The next day, Anna, who was not in good spirits, agreed to go to the hospital. But Bob waited at the door for a long time. But no one was there. So he broke in and found that Anna was not even inside. He searched frantically for the other side. But in the end, all to no avail, or the police found him and told him that Anna had died and had committed suicide. The group also learned from her diagnosis that she had long head cancer. The boss came to the ambulance and looked at Anna's body and couldn't help but shed tears. And Bob didn't expect to see the other side again in the morgue. It was then that he realized he was in love with the other side. And Anna's suicide note spoke of her feelings for Bob. It was then that Bob regretted why he started to fall in love with Anna when he couldn't see her. And Bob later opened an account to put his story with Anna online, hoping to be known by more people as to what Anna was really like 